streaming TV, original content. Think you got enough? Well, Apple has its sights set on Netflix, Amazon, and even cable TV itself with its new streaming service. Apple TV Plus is set to launch in the fall. Users will be able to add HBO, Showtime, and other services. Also coming is a paid news app that includes magazine content as well as an Apple credit card. Joining me now, a tech expert with Transpire Ventures, John Meyer. John, welcome to Chasing News. How are you? Great. Wonderful to be here. Exciting day with uh, Tech News. So tell me about Apple. Uh, you know, what, what is this offering that I can't already get from things that are out there? What is unique about Apple in this case is that they're putting out family-friendly original programming. So just like Netflix has now been dominating much of the new media field with their original shows and movies on their platform, Apple is trying their best to, to sort of catch up and do the same thing. You got Amazon, you got Netflix. You got Apple. Where do they rank? So I think I'm going to put Netflix at number one. And, and actually, I think Apple is, is, is just quickly today jumped to number two. And I put Amazon number three and Hulu number four in terms of the ranking of these next generation digital um, TV platforms that you know, many, many people nowadays are subscribing to. Does Apple take over the market over the next few years or is there room for all these guys? With TV, no. I think Netflix is going to still be the number one in the space, at least for the next five years where I think Apple could become uh, perhaps number one in a very, very large industry is actually in finance and banking. Apple essentially announced a, a credit card, an Apple branded credit card with no fees and the lowest interest rate you could pretty much find on the market for a credit card, uh, which also has very simple, easy to understand statements and language. So what, I think this is great for consumers. Um, in terms of protecting the average interests of everyday Americans who may or may not be able to read the, the dozens of pages of legal language that a credit card comes with, uh, with, with hidden fees and all that nonsense that has plagued many of us. All right. Thank you, John. Good to talk to you. Great, great talking to you as well. Thanks. Let's bring back our A-plus panel for tonight's show. Republican strategist Ronica Cleary and radio talk show host, slightly to my left, Garland Nixon. All right, Garland, we'll start with you. How much is too much? Now you've got Apple joining Netflix and Prime. Yeah, and There's I think, room. Yeah, I think that is a, it may be a problem for Apple because, I mean, it is getting crowded and people have a limited amount of money. But I think it's a kind of a desperation move for Apple. I don't think they have a lot of choices. The number of phones that they're selling is going down. So they've got to enter into the RMR, recurring monthly revenue market, to try to, I think, boost their sales. And if this doesn't happen, they probably have a problem. Doesn't it show the incredible strength of a company like Apple that they can go from phones and say, we're jumping in that game too? Right, it's certainly not a cheap venture that they are embarking on, and I think it's fantastic. Think about how many people subscribe to Netflix when they launched House of Cards. If Apple creates some great programming, I'm all about it, always looking for the next great show to binge watch. Right. I mean, how many channels do you have in your cable now? I feel like there are literally thousands of channels. There's so much content. Most of it's terrible. Well, the other thing about these, <laughs> the, these subscription networks is this, like Net Netflix, a lot of times we subscribe to them, and even if we don't use them, we forget about that we're paying for them. So the good part of it, it's kind of like a gym membership, I think. I think they're going to be like, people will subscribe and forget they're there even if they don't use it. But oh, isn't God. it all about original content, right? So HBO with Game of Thrones, think about it. How many people are just waiting in anticipation. How many people are binge watching right. to get to the new season? Uh, all they need is one good hit, right? Does yeah. it really matter? You know what? It's like it's like a sports team. You know, they bring in one big star, even if they lose, and everybody comes to see that star. So yeah, you're right. If they get one big hit, people will have to get get Apple. Are we transitioning now to where it's all going to be on demand and driven? I mean, to the point of we're not going to wait until a certain time to watch a certain show. Everything's going to be at my fingertips when I want to watch it. I think that that is true. And even with traditional cable, something like your DVR, I don't tend to watch things live. I wait till I have five episodes of my favorite show on my DVR so I can sit and watch them. But when was the last time I did that? I have two young kids. Fair enough. All right. Thanks, guys.